Back again, back again, YouTube, and there's something that I want to bring up um, to do with the last video that we've post, uh, posted, and it's to do with my database class. And you can see we've got the exception class already opened up. And if you go back to the last video, you've noticed that I've added two properties that was two protected properties that that um, contains the message and the code. But I did notice that I was getting an error within within this class and it turns out it didn't like the fact that I've declared these properties so once I've taken those out the error seems to have cleared up uh, but I wanted to actually investigate that a little bit because if I take you back to my database connection there's a couple of stuff in there that I want to clear up as well first let's correct this misspelling I've got a misspell right here with, with the database connection ex ex exception I've got a R which shouldn't be there so let's let's fix that up and you've noticed that I didn't actually return anything this need to return the actual database string our database connection which is going to be this D B8 else would have not gotten no return so fix that up and also um, to do with the exception seems like there are some issues with pdo exception because before this course or before i start doing this on youtube i was normally returning a normal exception right here or i would do a throwable or a throwable but for this course i decided i was, I was going to go back to return a pdo exception but if i bring up this page over here and we look at and this is the php.net manual website says PDO exception class represent an error raised by PDO it said you should not throw a PDO exception from your code I'm like mm, all right then so scroll down and have a read at this this contrib contributor saying PDO exception extend from the runtime exception which in return extend from exception as such it has access to the code protected class variable which represent the exceptions code as an integer and can be accessed externally using your exception get code method. So it seems like there is an issue with the return type of one of the arguments. And it shows you some examples where it says some developers like to catch PDO exception and rethrow it as a different exception. If they wrap their database calls in an external library, for example, what we've got below is just returning um, the message on the code there's no type inting so this is probably going to get interpreted as a string when it should be an integer so be careful in that you have to typecast the value return by pdo exception get code to an integer before you pass it as an argument to your exceptions constru constructor so and this is what we've implemented we've implemented that type int so we're passing the second argument as an integer because for some reason as i as how i've understand it it's being interpreted as a string when it should be an integer so it seems that there's a little bug with this pdo exception um similar to what they're saying down here override constructors and set message and code properties work around php bug so again just to let you guys be aware of that and it just only seems to be with pdo exception i think it's okay and if you're using different exception i think this is just an issue with pdo exception but it's been fixed now or not again this is many many years ago that's six years ago that might have been fixed because as i said i've used pdo exception before never had any issues but mostly i tend to use just the normal exception to to catch any error to catch any error in, in the code uh, but I said but when, I, when I decided to redo this tutorial on YouTube I wanted to actually go and do all the best practice um, that I possibly could so I'm not sort of like misleading anyone I want to show you that you know the right information from the actual source so I, was, I just want to clear that up and let's close it out 
and make the adjustments in our database class, like correct the issues that we had with the with the with the spelling and make sure that we're returning actually returning the PDO connection back. And before we do anything else, I'm going to actually submit this back to GitHub. So I'm gonna recommit it. I'm gonna say git status recommit those changes that I've just made. Git status. You can see what it's saying that we've modified two files and we're going to just commit those. It's gonna be git add and git commit. I'm gonna say modified um modified database connection exception and database connection class and we're going to push that to our repo you can check that if it's been well it would be updated so but we can double check it into a database you can see now we're returning that and now we fixed the spell error that we had and yeah so now we've addressed the issue with the properties that we declared right 